How does the electoral system work in Zimbabwe? Welcome to the Civics Academy election series for Zimbabwe. In these videos, we explore different aspects of elections and why they are a central feature of democracy. In this video, we explain how our votes translate into seats in parliament, provincial and metropolitan council, or in a municipal council in Zimbabwe. In general, there are two types of electoral systems, proportional representation, or PR system, and constituency representation system. Both systems have advantages and disadvantages. In Zimbabwe, we use both the constituency representation system and the PR system for national elections. For provincial elections, we only use the PR system. In local government elections, we only use the constituency representation system. The 2021 constitutional amendment makes provision for the election of local councillors through a combination of the PR and the constituency representation system. In local authorities, constituencies are called wards. Proportional representation system. Under the PR system, voters vote for a political party rather than a candidate. A political party, through a party list, nominates its candidates ahead of the election. The allocation of PR seats corresponds closely with the proportion of the total votes cast for each political party in the election. The advantage of PR is that it allows both big and small parties to be represented. For example, if a party receives 15% of the votes, it will also receive about 15% of the seats. The disadvantages of PR are, firstly, that the elected representatives or their positions to the party, since people vote for the party, not for them as individuals. Therefore, they often feel more accountable to the party than to the public. Secondly, the diversity of parties in the legislature may make it difficult to take decisions and form a government. 2. The Constituency Representation System Under the Constituency Representation System, voters vote for a candidate who may or may not be aligned to a political party and the candidate with the highest number of votes wins the election. The advantage of this system is that each elected representative is directly accountable to the voters in his or her constituency. The disadvantage is that it is not an accurate reflection of the diversity of views of the voters. Let's say two candidates compete. Candidate A gets 55% of the votes and candidate B gets 45% of the votes. In a straightforward constituency representation election, Candidate A wins the ward seat and candidate B gets nothing. That is why it's called a winner-takes-all system. Elections for members of national parliament. Our national parliament is composed of two houses, the National Assembly, NA, and the Senate. The NA currently has 270 members and the Senate has 80 members. Of the 270 members of the National Assembly, 210 are elected according to the constituency representation system. There are 210 constituencies. Whoever wins the most votes in a constituency wins that seat. Candidates may be nominated by political parties or they may contest in elections as independent candidates. The remaining 60 members of the National Assembly must be women, elected under the PR system. The calculation of these seats for each political party is based on the votes that were cast for members of the National Assembly in each of the 10 provinces. The 2021 Constitutional Amendment also makes provision for an additional 10 youth members of the National Assembly one from each of the 10 provinces elected under a PR system. If this constitutional provision is implemented, the composition of the National Assembly will rise to 280 after the general elections scheduled for 2023. The majority of members of the Senate, 60, are elected under the PR system. The calculation of seats is also based on the votes that were cast for members of the National Assembly in each province. 
The remaining members of the Senate are 16 chiefs nominated by the provincial assemblies of chiefs in the eight non-metropolitan provinces, the president and deputy president of the National Council of Chiefs, and two persons, a male and female, elected to represent people with disabilities. Let's look at the elections for members of provincial and metropolitan councils. Some members of provincial and metropolitan councils are directly elected and some are indirectly elected. Ten representatives per provincial or metropolitan council are directly elected under the PR system. The outcome is calculated also using the votes cast for members of the National Assembly in each province. The indirectly elected members are the mayors and chairpersons of local authorities in the province who automatically become members of these councils. Let's look at elections of local councils. Local councillors are elected using the constituency representation system. In local elections, we vote for our preferred candidate who may be aligned to a political party but may also be an independent candidate. The candidate with the highest number of votes wins the ward elections. A constitutional amendment in 2021 enabled the addition of special seats designated for the election of women under the PR system. The number of special seats must be at least 30% of the total number of ward councillors in that council to be determined by an Act of Parliament. If Parliament adopts legislation on PR women councillors, political parties should still try to field ward candidates in as many wards as possible, even in wards where they think they can never win, because even the votes for a losing ward candidate will still help that party obtain special women PR seats. Voters should go out and vote, even if they think their preferred ward candidate can never win the ward. Their candidate may not win the ward, but their vote still supports that party that has nominated their candidate. Summary There are two types of electoral systems, proportional representation, or PR, and constituency representation. The majority of members of the National Assembly in Zimbabwe are elected according to the constituency representation system, while the majority of the senators are elected using the PR system. For provincial and metropolitan councils, only 10 representatives are directly elected through the PR system. The remainder of these councils comprise of mayors and chairpersons of local authorities in that province. For local government elections, we use the constituency electoral system. This system ensures that the majority of the councillors are directly accountable to people who live in specific geographic communities. The constitutional amendment in 2021 makes provision for the addition of special seats designated for the election of women under the PR system. This is a significant measure towards achieving gender parity in our local councils.